so this is what's confusing if these are pups or blooms and I can tell you for a fact that they are pups but they also they also push out of this main plant which just came out of this the side of it so if I took this off I can propagate this. Okay. Then if you come over here, there's another pup right there. So that's also a pup. And there's some more coming out. I have one, two, three, and the four. And this is the afterglow. For some reason, they pushed out um, in the winter time. So for all the rain, there's more right there. Ah, see, got this nasty little. It's eating my plants. So you can propagate this by cutting cutting this right here. You can propagate by leaf. And yeah. There's one, one, two, three. So this could be also propagated via leaf if you want you can remove all the leaves one by one um, you can remove the big ones and then plant the the head and this is a bloom for my other afterglow that's outside in the back so that's how you tell now this one we have pups where's my pups right here See, they're pups. These are pups of this one main plant. This has got to be repotted because look, at it's yucky. From all the rain, all the different things that happened during the winter time and the spring or in a, the rainy, rainy days. Yeah, I need to redo all that. This is also a mini plant, so I don't know if I should replant it or just plant it on ground in my mini garden, my mi mini succulent garden. Let's see how beautiful. So pretty. Okay, so this is what I ended up with. I took all of the the leaves from the small one and then this whole big one. Um, I left these two together because if you can see there's really only one place that it can there's only one place right here that it can sprout roots and also one here but if they're together um, I think this is how they end up to be twins if they're together then you have this this two roots that can um, grow and help it better than if you only had one and then here um, I just removed one leaf you have to remove a leaf or a couple of leaves so that you can you end up with those nodules because they're where the roots are also going to come out of and then what I do when I'm done um, cutting it up I just let it sit until they um, grow roots. See this one's already, that's already a root right there. You can see, get closer. Oh. Come on. So, 
there's already a beginning of a root right there. Right there. And also here, also here. So um, as soon as this, what I would do is beside uh, letting it heal, also just leave it alone and um, these leaves anyway, it's starting with the bottom leaves, they're actually going to feed the plant. So you're not going to have dead plants, it's just, you're just going to have to wait until the roots come out. And it could take maybe two, three weeks, it really depends, but at least once they do, um, you'll have a really nice, um, stable foundation already. And then this one, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in an incubator and put it where my other uh, propagation stuff is. And we'll see what happens. It is May, the end of May, and we'll check it again in about six months. Six months is a good time to see oh wow look at all that you know instead of every month where it just like grows roots unless you guys want me to do that maybe I can do a real quick one every three months or something but um, I will set my alarm for three months from now and then give you an update on the propagation So here's another example of the difference between bloom and pups. Okay, so, so if you see something like this, so this is a bloom, this is not a pup because it looks like a little tiny flower. Looks like a flower, look. And the leaves are very small. If this was a pup, it would it would be the leaves would be as big as this. Okay. So this is a throwaway. Why? Because if you keep this, you will most likely get mealy bugs. So I'm just taking off the the leaves, the bigger leaves, because the bigger leaves will have more life to it. Look at this one, has a little plant already. Gosh, this camera, come on camera. I wonder if I change it to... See that little plant already? So I'm gonna try to remove this as slowly as possible. <gasps> no, no. There. <clears throat> it stayed. It stayed in, so that is going to be a... See, but this one looks like a flower. This one looks more like a flower and not a pop because of the little tiny leaves. So we don't want that, even though it's pretty. Then we're just gonna take out all of these. But look at the difference between that and a pup. Pups look just like the original plant, okay? And it usually comes out of the bottom. And, but sometimes they come out of here, the top. However, that takes up a lot of energy from the main plant. So I need, I always want to cut that off, uh, nip it in the bud as, as we say. And look at this little one. Okay, that's not a flower because that came out of the bottom, um, the bottom part of the plant not at the top although sometimes it'll just come out of like this one look at this one i don't know if you can see this i hope you can you'll see it see this right here tiny one it's coming out of in between the leaves but it's still a pup 
So that's what happens. See this little tiny one in there. Cute. This mini bell is just the cutest thing ever. Um, this one is a flower. We don't want that. That's a mealy bug. Um, mealy mug, mealy, I call it a mealy magnet. So we're saving all of these. This is going to be, um, propagated. And that's it. What else can I show you? Look at this one. That's coming from the bottom. It's a pop. Sometimes it'll come out of here. This is actually, <laughs> this plant right here, which is, I'm very proud of. This, this plant was this big. This big. When it, when it was a volunteer in one of my plants. So I don't even know what, what this plant is. I don't know what it's called, but I'm happy because now it's big. It's got two heads. Two heads are better than one. And now they have a baby. They married and they have a baby now. Yay. Congratulations. Happy anniversary. <laughs> okay, guys. 